Hello and a very warm welcome. I am Ruchi Sharma. Virtual digital assets have gained popularity over the past 24 hours despite a lack of investor participation in recently launched spot Bitcoin ETFs. Bitcoin hovered near the $42,500 crucial mark. IC15 index of cryptocurrencies was trading down by 0.1% at 56,240 points. Interestingly, a jump in US Treasury yields followed the Fed Governor Christopher Waller downplaying the need for speed on rate cuts has prompted investors to buy Bitcoin. Investors have given a cold shoulder to ETFs so far which reflects in murky volume. Meanwhile, the focus remains on key data releases and corporate earnings. On the economic front, December retail sales, Federal Reserve Beige Book and business inventories for November due for release later today, along with remarks from John Williams, President and CEO of the New York Federal Reserve, will keep traders fairly engaged. Moving on, according to data from Bloomberg, cryptocurrency markets witnessed a total of $10 billion in trading volumes across 10 ETF products in the first three days. The global cryptocurrency market cap was at $1.68 trillion mark, increasing 0.5% in the last 24 hours. However, the total trading volumes increased by 5% to $57.5 billion. Meanwhile, Core Scientific, one of the most prominent victims of the crypto winter among Bitcoin miners, received approval for its Chapter 11 reorganization plans from the Southern District of Texas Bankruptcy Court and expects to relist its shares on NASDAQ by the end of this month. Going forward, despite the crypto crash, Ethereum name service witnessed a 50% price increase due to the recent approval of spot Bitcoin ETFs. Ethereum co-founder Vitalik Buterin is advocating for ENS integration with the layer 2 scaling solutions for faster, cheaper transactions. US stock futures traded lower, extending a losing session to kick off the holiday-shortened trading week. Futures tied to the Dow Jones Industrial Average dropped 157 points or 0.42%. S&P 500 futures and Nasdaq 100 futures dropped 0.57% and 0.83% respectively. Bitcoin was trading at $42,741, down 0.2%. Ethereum, the second largest crypto, was up by 0.7%, trading at $2,547. The much-awaited Dencom update has recently been released by Ethereum core developers on the GoEarly test network, marking a crucial step towards its imminent Mainnet integration. The main objective of the upgrade is to significantly reduce the transaction cost for decentralized apps with an emphasis on improving layer 2 roll-up chain efficiency, reports highlighted. BNB was down by 3% to trade at $309. Cardano's ADA token was down by 0.7% to trade at $0.53. Polygon Matic was trading down by 1.2% to trade at $0.84. Doge the popular meme coin was trading down by 1.4% at $0.080. Shiba Inu was trading down by 1.2%. Ripple's XRP token traded at $0.57, down by 0.5%. Polkadot was down by 2% to trade at $7.5. However, Solana SOL was up 5% and was trading at $101.4. Avalanche AVAX was trading at $36.2, higher 1%. That's all in Coin Monitor for now. This is Meeruch Sharma signing off. Do like, share, and subscribe to 3 TV. And for more information and stories, log on to our website www.3worstv.io or scan the QR code. Auto TV stay connected with the world of blockchain. Stay up to date with infinite world of NFTs. Come explore and evolve with 3 Auto TV in the metaverse. So many coins, so much volatility. 3 Auto TV delivers the news that matters.
report from Circle, the issuer of USD coin, revealed that the number of wallets holding at least $10 worth of the cryptocurrency grew by 59% in 2023, despite the coin losing $20 billion of its circulating supply. The report titled State of the USD Economy attributed the decline to rising interest rates, regulatory crackdowns, bankruptcies and outright fraud in crypto, which led users to withdraw their money from the ecosystem and into traditional markets. However, the report also highlighted the growing acceptance of USDC with over $197 billion minted or burned over the year, acting as a bridge between the digital asset economy and traditional finance. The number of wallets with over $10 worth of USDC in them grew to over 2.7 million, a 59% increase over 2022. Jeremy Allaire, speaking at the World Economic Forum, emphasized the rapid progress in global regulatory developments with governments worldwide shaping digital currency regulations. He predicts the US will take significant steps to protect crypto consumers and provide regulatory clarity. The Clarity for Payment Stable Coins Act, currently under consideration in the House of Representatives, aims to sub subject stable coins to regulatory frameworks similar to traditional financial services. Alair supports the Act and anticipates a favourable environment for its approval in 2024. Alair and Circle's Chief Strategy Officer Dante Desparte are optimistic about 2024 as a pivotal year for stablecoin regulations in the US. True USD, a stablecoin linked to Justin Sun, has fallen below its $1 peg due to reports of holders cashing out hundreds of millions of TUSD in exchange for competitor Tether. The peg first fell below $0.984 on January 15th and now trades for $0.988, 1.3% below its intended $1 peg. The deep begging event occurred after midnight on January 15th amid a surge of selling on Binance. As of publication, traders have sold over $339.2 million worth of USD in the last 24 hours, resulting in a net outflow of $42.3 million. On January 10th, True USD faced issues posting real-time attestations of its reserves, suggesting it may have been under-collateralized.